Welcome to my base of operations. This is where all of the magic happens. It's a minimal, distraction-free setup with a few hidden quirks and productive ways to get the jobs done. Let's get into it. On the extreme left side, there's a fake plant that I never need to water. Psychologically, greens in your working environment tend to reduce stress and help creativity, enhance the plant. Adjacent to it is the medieval shelf with three divisions. The topmost shelf has miniature models of BF-109 that I assembled myself. There's also a video of me assembling this particular model on the channel. And we've also got a tiger tank. The shelf below has a knight standing guard with his polar bear. They're both souvenirs from Warwick Castle and Natural History Museum. Underneath this shelf is where I place the books that I'm currently reading. I read these a couple times but I like keeping them here to sift through them while my scenes are rendering. I think these books are a must read for any 3D artist. Moving further right is the table. I've got two drawers in here. The right one has my penny collector book which contains my collections from various museums. Some other coins. My favourite one is this which I brought from inside a British C5 galaxy during an air show. I've got some vitamin D tablets here. My handy handbook of medicine if I have to quickly refer something from it. Also happens to be one of my favourite books. I've got a few watches here, a wallet and that's about it. On the left side I have a notebook that I use to jot down ideas, findings, calculations or simple notes related to 3D. Let's see what it says here. On testing various fabric types for simulating, I found linen and default sim fabric to perform the best. Hmm, interesting. Next I have my headphones here. These are by far my favourite pair of headphones that I've owned. I do all of my sound design using these headphones. They have a handy bass feature as well so if I'm putting together something that's particularly low frequency, I turn it up and I can put together a bassy sound design. I've also got my 4 terabytes of external hard drive for storing 3D assets. On the tabletop I have a timer that was gifted to me by a dear friend and it's definitely one of the handiest things here. It's essentially a timer or a stopwatch. I can turn it on and time myself when I start working on a 3D animation. When you visually see seconds passing by, it helps you keep to time and maintain focus without dilly-dallying around elsewhere. I've also got this minimal lamp that maintains the ambience of the place with a little glow. It's also remote or touch controlled so I can change the colour of the light howsoever. Accompanying this is Groot. He is the holder of all things important. Sometimes my phone if I'm watching something and other times the sheer amount of data that the 3D projects generate. The crown jewel and the centerpiece is my machine. Nothing too fancy but it gets the job done. It's a Lenovo Y545 armed with 1660 Ti and 6GB of VRAM. Accompanying this is 16GB of RAM and half a terabyte of M2 SSD. All my programs run on this NVMe drive and primary data storage is on 1TB of onboard hard drive. Navigating this machine is the wide variant of the Logitech G502 mouse. Over many years I've tried many mouse builds but nothing has worked as good as this one so I've just stuck to it. And frankly it does look like alien tech both in function and appearance. Finally, the chair is Winzetto black and white ergonomic chair with head and back rests for cervical and lumbar support. The whole idea of this setup is to minimize distractions and facilitate the creative process both psychologically and physically. If I were to add one thing to this, I would consider adding a dedicated screen. Apart from that, it works really well. Let me know if you have other suggestions. I also have a free newsletter where I share tips and tricks in 3D and much more. It's completely free and you can subscribe from link in the description. Do consider subscribing to the channel as well and I will see you soon. Farewell.